I love exploring. It doesn't matter if I'm hiking through a new mountain range or climbing up into the tree canopy or exploring an old abandoned farmhouse in the middle of nowhere. I love exploring. That's why when I was walking through this really old school, it was built in the early 1900s, and I came across this locked door that has the sign Fallout Shelter. I had to check it out and see what was behind the door. I could pretend to be super cool and say, oh yeah, I picked this lock to get through the door, but that didn't happen. I had somebody help me get through the door and grant me access to this old tunnel system. I've tried talking about this before, but I didn't think anybody would really care. But I think a lot of you would benefit from hearing this, so please hear me out. Exploring an adventure can be anything that you want it to be. But you have to leave some... <clears throat> oh, damn. Jesus, that's, that's why you always wear a helmet. <laughs> you have to leave technology behind. Now, I get it, I'm telling you guys all of this using technology, but if you're always taking your camera and your phone out on your adventure so that you can hopefully get Instagram likes or get famous on YouTube, you're completely ruining the point of an adventure because you're doing it for other people. It's, hmm, what would other people like to see in my photos or in my videos so that I can get more likes? That's, that's not exploring. Exploring is finding something cool like, I don't know, what's this hole? Like, where does it go? I personally find that cool, but I don't say weird things like that in the video because most people are like, dude, it's a hole, let it go, you know? And if you're always filming yourself or always taking photos and always thinking about taking photos, it's gonna totally ruin the adventure for you. You have to get off YouTube and stop being addicted to your phone. Think about how many hours you sit alone staring at a screen when you could be out exploring or hanging out with friends, but instead you're just alone looking at a screen. And I'm, I'm saying that brutally because it's happened to me and I know it happens to a lot of you. And the worst part about it all is that you're being sold to for watching this stuff and looking at social media. That's how people make money these days. and. The algorithms and the software developers are amazing at keeping you addicted and keeping you pay attention to your screen, your phone, your computer, whatever it is, because they are making money off of you. Let me give you an example. I have a fantastic bicycle, but I also frequent a blog called The Radivist. Now, I've even had one of my personal videos posted up on the blog. Like, I just love it. And they always have beautiful bicycles. We're talking $10,000 bicycles on it, and it makes me want. It makes me think that, oh, my bicycle isn't good enough. If I just have this slightly better chain ring or slightly cooler frame set, that I'm gonna be happier. And that is not true. I am just brainwashed because that's what I see every day that, oh, these people who own these things are happy, but me with my bicycle that's slightly subpar isn't good enough to make me happy. That's false. My bicycle absolutely makes me happy. And being a video producer myself, like I've seen it from the backside. I've had offers for people to say, hey, put this product in your video and we'll give you money. They do that because it works. They know if you see one of their products in my video or anybody else's video, that you're gonna say, wow, that's really cool. This person knows what they're doing and they use this product, so I need that product. It, it happened to me. I know when I saw Yuli Steck's uh, ascent of Iger, rest in peace, by the way, uh, and I saw his kick-ass backpack, I'm like, I need that backpack. Guess what I did? I went out and bought it. I was sold to. If you turn off this video right now and go outside, oh, little ring, <laughs> uh, and go outside on an adventure, then you get it. There's a reason why I haven't been posting any videos lately because I'm sick of the system. I'm sick of going to parks with my son and hiking on hiking trails and seeing everybody be like, ooh, look at me, taking a photo, or the, the, there's 
Parents who sit on their phone walking behind their child looking at their phone when they're outside and their child's running ahead like, Daddy, Daddy, look at me. And they're like, mm-hmm, yep, yep, that's pretty cool. Just don't die and I'll keep looking at my phone. You know, it got to the point where I just, I'm done with it. Like I'm getting rid of my smartphone and I, I think you guys get the point. Uh, I reached, the tunnel gets really sketchy here. It, it turns into dirt and it gets like, and turns into a crawl space, so no lights in there, lights on, and uh, I'm gonna see how far back I can make it here. I don't know why stuff like this uh, is so fun for me. Like, it's this, this dirty old place where people just abandon junk on the ground. Ugh, and there's spider webs. And you know what? I'm not gonna lie. I'm terrified of spiders. So I don't know why I like coming down here in these dark places. Like they're just gonna jump on your head and just... But I'm gonna continue on because that's what I love about adventure. Just finding new things. And hopefully not getting trapped underneath a building. Oh, look at that. It's like kind of bowing downwards like it's caving in. Oh, Jesus. That is a long, dark hole. And it's getting, like, smaller as I continue walking. I don't know. It's probably hard for you guys to see, but I'm, like, crouching because I don't really want to crawl in this stuff. But, oh. So, I stopped. I've been going for a while. Like, I can't believe how long this tunnel system is and nobody knows I'm down here so I'm kind of getting sketched out and I don't want to get you know too far in and have something bad happen uh, I'm suddenly feeling claustrophobic <laughs> so I'm gonna say my goodbye and hurry out of here uh, I, I hope that you guys really take to heart what I said in this video and, uh, and go on an adventure for yourself and be in the moment um, because that's, what I, that's all I want out of this video. Um, otherwise, yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed it. And like always, goodbye and be safe. Holy shit. I was getting so claustrophobic in there that I just started going as fast as I could to get out. And uh, I smacked my head on a pole so hard that it knocked me back on my butt into the dirt. <laughs> oh man, sometimes adventures can get a little crazy. <laughs> you better turn off this video and go outside now. Go on a big adventure and it's gonna be awesome because you're gonna be mindful of it. And you're not gonna have your cell phone or uh, a camera or anything. You're just gonna freaking love it.